Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to After The Fall Overview. I'm pretty sure this is the last big release of the year. Sometimes we have those ninja games that appear on the store out of the blue, but hopefully I won't be bombarded with things to do before Christmas, because the tier list for this year is already looking like pure chaos. So After The Fall is an action horror shooter game, mostly designed around the co-op experience. There's a lot of information to dissect from the get-go. First, they claim in the launch edition that it starts with the first season of content, meaning I guess it's gonna be like rotating or adding new stuff each set period of time which seems nice. It's built for the multiplayer, but it features also solo play and player versus player arenas, so it kinda covers all the bases of what you wanna do in shooter genre. There are also customizables for the weapons, full-scale combat with zombies and bosses. On paper, it seems like it's got it all. Now for this specific overview, I'm gonna base everything from my experience. As much as I don't want to be spoiled with any external information, this time around it was literally impossible because the developers were running early access stuff since last week, I believe, so I'm literally the last person to play it. It should be interesting, I think it's gonna be completely fine because co-op experiences with shooters is a very unique marriage because a lot of things can be forgiven since playing with other real people uplifts the gameplay so high, meaning trash game could be even good at the end of the day. So see, I'm just gonna mention, having no flashlight on Quest 2 kinda bothers me because in literally every horror game, doesn't matter if it's shooter, adventure or whatever, every developer pulled it off, I don't see why it's different here, but the gameplay is gonna be a judge of that. Let's go to LA! <laughs> All right, it's pretty cute. Uh, sliding, of course. Cabit ammo pouch. This seems very correct. Okay. Calibration complete. After the fall. Wonder what that means. Hello? Hey, uh, to whoever is in that safe room and powered it up, please listen. This line isn't supposed to be active, but I'm on my way to pick up someone else near your location. Meet us outside if you can. There's an arcade machine to supply you with a sidearm once you insert its boot disc. Can we do something about this <laughs> snap turn? Continuous. Thank you. No. <laughs> Such a long time I've seen one. Oh my fucking god. Eh? Open the ammo crate by hitting it. Oh, fun! Oh, do we have manual reloading? More harvest gain. Okay, I mean it's just more immersive. Okay. Pretty smooth. Oh, <laughs> here was the choice. <laughs> I'm too fast for the game, apparently. <laughs> Holsters, weapon wheel. Yeah, obviously holsters. Alright, it's a good calibration. Oh 
pillow. <laughs> I guess I pissed them off. <laughs> First move, weapon handling. Oh! <laughs> Just... What's that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a bit too much. Oh, oh. Hey, don't touch me. <laughs> Oh, he froze me. Help me. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Ow. Get in quick. Come on. The legs ain't frozen, are they? Luna, I couldn't save Johnny. It was too late. I know. But I found someone else. From Huntington. I was just in time. I'll bring him in. Hey, welcome back. You were doing great until that big guy found you. Right. Was that the first time you got juice back to life? Because when you freeze out here, you've got to get boosted or it's game over. Oh, splat! <laughs> Got one! <laughs> well, either way, we'll be at the line soon. It used to be a metro station, but now it's a hub for harvest runners and sweepers like me. In the meantime, you get some more shut-eye and let the juice do its work. You still look a bit frosty to me. Oh, everyone's muted. Okay, that's fun lobby. Wow, we can like explore with people and stuff. <laughs> Bienvenido. Welcome to the line. Frank told me about you over the radio. That was a close call. I think he was near. Why not? So. I know how you lot usually go around and trade harvest in other settlements. It usually goes well, until it doesn't. Don't get me wrong, I, I'm glad you're safe, but we do things a little differently than scrappers outside. Take this floppy. It contains a blueprint for your gun. Go to the arcade around the corner here and use the disc on the machine. When you're there, Harry can give you some more info. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, that's a new runner ID. Welcome. Harry, part of Luna's research and development team. Your first floppy! How exciting! You can store it in your wrist pocket. When you need it, go ahead and use that floppy Luna gave you. Stick it in the machine at the crafting desk. Claim your prize. That's a nice design. Like floppy disks and just apocalypse. All your weaponry. The more harvest you have, the more you can craft. Oh, alright, we can modify weapons. Nice, nice. Hmm, but we have no customizations though, so... How do we? Ammo counter. Lever, always make sure you have options. 
<laughs> okay. We want to try out your guns at the shooting range. Just check out how they handle. Experiment with different styles of reloading and find your preference. I really like that. I wish I could like switch maybe to the B button, not the A button, but it's fine. What would be like a very quick reload? I mean, if I want to have real fun, then I would put like this mode. But I like being immersive nowadays, so we'll have the manual. So, in case you're wondering what to do, we all need boosters filled with juice to stay in a runner. Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry. So, in case you're wondering what to do, we all need boosters filled with juice to stay healthy. Juice we harvest by killing Snowbreed. Snowbreed we kill by doing runs. I say we. I mean, runners kill Snowbreed by doing runs. Enlist for harvest runs on the arcade machines in the center. Or use your wrist menu to go on a run. Make sure you craft the right tools for the job. The more harvest you bring back, the better gear you can craft. That's the gist of it. Good luck! Hmm. Here. There you go. I'd have to do it maybe if things will get heated. We'll see. I need some eyes on the harvest side down in Skid Row. Nothing too unusual, just clear the streets. Double check the stock in the safe rooms and report back in. Don't forget you can invite others to join you before heading out. Harvest run. And we have difficulty levels. Let's do veteran and schedule. Confirm. Hi. Hello. First time playing as well. We've got several containment sites where our runners farm snowbreed. Make your shots count. Watch your ammo. Reloading. Cover me. Almost. I have no ammo. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. More ammo. Trying. 
I guess up. We started containing yeah. once we figured out we could repurpose Oh. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, it explodes. Crawl, uh, away. Do we have like health packs or something? I don't know. I just store here. Oh. Sprawl went away. Reloaded. Oh, don't can shoot. I don't can shoot. What is this here? Oh no. Dying. Sprawl cleared. Reloading. Oh, this way. Oh. <laughs> We're coming tardy. Nice Wait up. Reloading. Someone's frozen there. <laughs> yeah. Incoming! Nice graphic here. I think I'm on one hit. Hmm. Very nice. Oh, I didn't even jump, it blinked me. Oh, there's a standing. Then that's the way. Oh no no no, not this party to me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> Where did you find it? <laughs> What? By the health pack, okay. Fall from the ceilings? I am trapped! Who needs health? I'm reloading. Hmm. I guess we follow those orange lines. Should hold the orange line, I think. Yeah. The, the yellow line. Yeah. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Two at the same time. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> run, run, run. Is there a tactic to him? Like, yeah, you go away and then just detonate him? No, 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 no. Ow. Oh, now you're dead. <laughs> Wow, he catapulted you. Oh, we're all dead. Yeah. 
Oh well. Damn, I feel like we almost got it. We just got cucked by those two in the small room. But I guess next time, because I will play it more for sure. It's fun and it shares the similar vibe to Zero Caliber. If there is cop, it's gonna be good. Couple things mechanics wise. Manual reloading can be sometimes wonky in terms that sometimes you won't like properly pick up the magazine and then you have to kinda slide it in. But not like completely Death Horizon because when you slide it in, then you can offset your controller and then you slide normally. It's not like you're blocked by your own controller. It's actually kind of plops into place, so it's a good middle ground with that mechanic But like fluidity between shotting just reloading like you can really pull off some good stuff Even though you don't use automatic. I'm kind of confused about the recall like it's very random Sometimes it's just all over the place, but you don't really run out of ammo if you really like spam your weapons I guess if you would do like, you know Do what? Then you run out. There's plenty of ammo crates though, so I wouldn't worry about that. Though then you don't have melee combat, I see. Which I find kind of weird, like nowadays. If you have nothing on you ammo-wise, then you're literally defenseless. You can't do shit. It's just a little bit weird to me. Graphics-wise, I don't really see the problem. For standalone and co-op and stuff, it's honestly enough to keep the gameplay fun. The idea of the hub with other people exploring is fun as well. There are many good things going on for this game. I'll try to do the playthrough. I'm not sure if there's some storyline going on. We have like four, five stages to go through. So I'll try to do that. And so far, I'm pretty pleased.